Welcome to the Inner Princess Fox Hunt Guide to the latest Lost City DLC, Temple at Zerzura. Just as with all courses, there is a brand new club to find, and we have 12 clues to complete before we unlock it. So let's begin at hole one with our very first clue. And what you'll notice with these is that the clues light up when you point your club towards them. Welcome to the Duart Traveller. Start your journey into the second life by protecting your name. Find the hidden cartouche symbol in the alcove behind you. In this world, there are hidden symbols that can only be revealed by pointing at them. So there the instruction reinforces that we're looking for these clues by pointing our club towards them. And if we go into the alcove behind us and point towards the wall, eventually we will see the cartouche symbol. Your heart is the most precious possession you will ever have. In the final judgment, it must be weighed against a feather and be found lighter. Find your heart symbol somewhere on the obelisk. So there are many of these dotted around the course, but the one that we're looking for is not far from the start and it is over between hole number one and hole number two. If we teleport down there and get a little bit closer, when we wave the club towards it, eventually we will reveal the symbol. One of eight giant papyrus columns is still being constructed. On it, find the Jed, symbol of stability, backbone of great Osiris. So in the main atrium, when we enter the temple, there are eight pillars and one of them you will see is still being worked on. So when we go over to that one, obviously it's the one that has the scaffolding around it. Go around to the far side and point your club towards it and you will see the next symbol appear. Another of these columns has been visited by a cat, favourite of Bastet. Follow the paw prints. So if we come back out again, we can see there are eight columns and the one furthest forward and over to the right is the one that we're first looking at. And when we point the club towards it, we can see some paw prints. So the task here is to follow those. So first it comes down the column and goes towards the wall. So carefully follow it along the wall. They do get quite far away. But if you point, you can just about make them out and you can see they go onto the upper level. So we'll make our way up the steps. And although we can see them there, let's rejoin from this upper level and see where they go. So they go around these columns, over towards the steps and look like they take a little jump down then back up again. along the floor and towards this throne. And there is the next clue. Of course the cat had designs on the throne. The lowly dung beetle has no such pretenses. Though with enough time, it is the beetle who would remake the world. At the foot of the stairs between twin scarab beetles, find this symbol of transformation. There are a number of sets of steps in this course. The ones we're looking for are leading down towards this water by hole 18. If we look up, we can see the two beetles and down on the ground is the next clue. Lotus are the white flowers that float upon the water. They symbolize rebirth. You can see one nearby. Find a hidden lotus next to another of these flowers. So as the clue suggests, there are a couple of lotus near to us, but we're looking for another one. So, one of the other areas of water is inside that building there. If we teleport inside, it's actually down by hole 15, but if we come from here and make our way down the steps, on the left hand side you'll see another lotus, and then on the wall next to it is our clue. There is a room with a great eye of Horus set beneath a scarab. Hidden in this room, there is only one eye of Ra, who is the sun. Horus is said to be the moon, the left eye. Ra is then the right. So remember, the right eye is from the perspective of the owner of the eye. So on our hand here, it is the left symbol that we're looking for. So the room that we're very close to is hole number 16. And when we get inside it, we can see a number of them match the symbol, which is on the right hand side as we look at it here. But we're looking for the only one that points the other way. And if we go towards this statue at the back, 
and I've flown up slightly here so that you can see it. There's the left eye and the right eye is just on the other side. In the daytime, there was a room centered on the Ankh, symbol of life immortal. Find the hidden Ankh in that room. So as it suggests, one of the holes had an Ankh in it during the day course and that's now gone. And that hole is number 12. As we see, it's now missing from the bottom of this slope, but it is on the wall at the back there. So as we make our way down, quite cool the cat's eyes light up when you point at them. Towards this back wall, we can see the Ankh symbol and when we point our club towards it, it illuminates. This is the Amenta, two vertical lines against the setting sun, which symbolizes the underworld. Many have wandered the desert for an eternity, squinting against the sun, trying to find their way. So this Amenta shape and the description it gives about squinting into the sun are really what we're looking for. There are two stone pillars in the sands just over there, and if we teleport to the desert behind them, what we need to do is line up the sun and those two pillars so that we match the shape in the clue. As you start to get closer to pairing it up, you'll see a mound in front of you. And when you go straight over that, there is a square stone in the ground, and that's the point that you stand to complete the shape. And that is where the clue is. Well done. All the gates are passed now and the time for final judgment has come. Anubis, the jackal, presides over the scales. Oh, my heart, do not make a case against me. So the final passage to the underworld is having your heart weighed against a feather. And the jackal is seen at hole 18. There are the scales and when we point towards the jackal, we can see the clue. Your soul triumphs, you have been judged worthy but there is still the matter of passage across the lake to the field of reeds. Go to the ferry waiting for you at the dock and find this symbol to pay respect to your ferryman. So separate to the ship that we found the lost ball in during the day course, this one we want to get from the upper tier of the main atrium. So over by hole eight or so, you teleport in there, and make your way over to the steps down, And when you reach the boat, give your own sarcophagus a quick tap of appreciation, and on the floor is the final clue. Congratulations, you have proven yourself pious, clever, kind, and brave, worthy of golfing beside the gods in the heavens forever. Take the sacred putter of Isis and be reborn. So here we have the Egyptian-themed putter, Lovely design pays homage to a number of the symbols that we've seen and the pillars. So let's give it a try as is tradition. Perhaps this one on hole number five. One of my favorites on the course. It's very complex, but the holding one is also very simple and very precise if you can get that shot right. So it looks like the putter is working fine. So thank you for watching. I hope you like the new putter. I hope you found this helpful and it's been worth me spending all this time Googling correct pronunciation of these Egyptian words. If you have found it helpful, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already and leave me a comment down below if I've got any pronunciations wrong. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you out on the course soon.